Hey, what's going on guys? This is Sustainville, and this is a gameplay breakdown. Uh, before I jump into that, I wanted to talk about the Gamma Labs, Gamma Gamers Platinum Ticket Sweepstakes that's still going on to the end of April, um, where you pretty much get a chance to fly out to the West Coast, uh, where Gamma Labs is building a gaming house that's dedicated to professional uh, Call of Duty and Halo players. And you kind of be one of the first ones to play in the house and get to hang out with us in game. So um, in order to enter into the sweepstakes, you have to head over to GammaGamers.com and purchase a tub of Gamma Labs PTF. Um, I'll go ahead and put the link on screen as well as in the description for you guys. And if you use my discount code TOSH5, it should save you 15% and save you money on shipping. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into this. Alright, so I pick up two kills and I proceed to go ahead and pull the flag. My teammate called out there's a guy back bar, but he also said that he would be able to pick him up. And those stuns kind of put me in a very bad position and I wasn't able to do much. Um, <clears throat> they did pick up the kill since he kind of showed his position. And it looks like we might be able to get this cap. Uh, unfortunately, the enemy pulled that flag and they headed out the back door. Um, it's kind of the only escape route they had. I saw one sneak by minibar, I called him out, it looks like he was able to catch my teammate before he was able to react, and they get the return, and I don't think we're going to be able to get this capture, so we're down one, but it's never the end of the world. I mean, nothing ever goes your way all the time, so you kind of have to expect to lose some flags and just know how to come back from it. Um, I decided to flank the back of the bar instead of pushing right in. I expected a guy to be behind the counter, kind of pre-aiming. Um, right now, I should just be running. And I kind of slow down because I think I'm going to be able to hit this shot. I'm used to playing with an ACR. In this game, I decided to play a little bit more of the objective role. Um, I got double stunned. I, by me putting shots in that guy, he was a little weak. So my teammates were able to pick that up by me calling that out. Um, I call one teammate to rotate over the mini bar, And so I can capture the flag. Now we need to kind of maintain map control. Um, I was going to push towards mini bar. And my teammate called out there might be a guy up top, so I decided to back up because I don't want to overextend to the point where we kind of just lose map control, get pinned in, and they take advantage of us. Um, I didn't exactly see that guy, not sure why, and kind of went to a bad side of the map where I should have been focusing on bar a little bit more and caused me to get flanked. Alright, so spawning back up. Uh, my teammates have all died. It's kind of my job to make sure that this flag doesn't go anywhere. Um, I kind of throw everything I have at the flag. By the time that, you know, that nade went off, I should have teammates spawning up and should have a little bit more defense. Um, I noticed my teammates are pushing middle and right, so I pushed the left side of the map just to make sure we weren't getting flanked in the in our base. Uh, last thing I want is to get that flag and get it all the way back to our base and have a guy hiding in a corner um, that jumps out and kind of gets a return, and we kind of just wasted the whole, you know, push. Um, we are tied right now. There's a minute 40 on the clock, so we kind of have to do a little bit more. And we have three down right now. All four of us are down, so this is kind of a stressful point in the map. This is where you really need to stun. Um, I put shots into him. A second guy came around the corner, put shots into me. I turned, looked towards mini bar, and got picked off, so that was really unfortunate. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, where you kind of get pinned in, and there's not too much you can do. Um, they should know I'm spawning up here, and it looks like I missed my stun, landed on the plane. I expected a guy to be pushing up here, and I tried to stick the pole. I guess it went a little bit further than I expected. Um, we have a minute to get two flags to tie this game up and take the lead. So let's see if we can do that. I push in through the bar. I think that's three dead right now. I'm just going to go ahead and pull that. Um, there's no point not to. I mean, we're kind of short on the clock. I can't afford to have a perfect setup. And I think this pull may have just got us a tie in the game. Uh, my teammates call that it's clear except for the back stairs, but I tell them to stun. Alright, so now we're tied up 35 seconds on the clock, and we're going to try to do this one more time. I'm being patient. Like I said before, I don't want to overextend and just waste the last push we have. And that's four dead right there. Um, I was looking at the bottom, but if you kind of look at the area while they're spawning, it can cancel out the spawns. So I decided to slide around the right. And one guy does spawn down here. The rest should be spawning up top. We're well aware of that. Except for, I guess, this guy. Um, and it looks like we were able to capture that. And like I said, he spawned up top and wrapped around the back. So 
hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, my next video that I will be uploading will be an editing contest, and uh, I think you guys would be a little interested in that. So, hope you guys enjoyed that, and check out this Gamma Labs promo, and I'll talk to you guys later.